Hello and welcome back to Art Class. Today we're going to move on with our picture. Uh, we should have a good chunk of this pretty much done. You should have the three buildings done. A few people have asked if they could have a fourth one because they had a little extra room and that was totally fine. Uh, you should have a basic background done. Don't You shouldn't go crazy over complicated with it. Uh, but you should have a basic one in there. Uh, today, the big focus is gonna be on finishing our buildings. There's just a smidge more that needs to be done and I didn't wanna overload you last week. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that up. The other thing you need to do is go in and double check for things that need to be fixed. Like even on mine, I'm looking and I see like, I didn't finish some lines. I have some erasing that needs to happen. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that tends to happen and crop up as you're working. Okay, so our big focus today is windows and doors that go on the buildings. Now, traditionally, uh, windows and doors are just basically rectangles. But the problem is, if you notice, the side of the building is slanted towards the vanishing point. Okay? And that in itself causes a problem. Because if I just put a regular old window, so let me just draw one here, like this, that really doesn't make any sense for the side of the building, okay? So that is not correct. That is a big no-no. What you need to do is get the, build, the door or window to line up with the way the slant is going. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so on this uh, particular one right here, well, you know what, I'm gonna pick this one right here because I got a lot of big space here. Uh, it's pretty easy. I'm gonna do a door first. Doors is a little bit simpler. And you will need, sorry, materials are gonna be your drawing, pencil, eraser. You're gonna want a straight edge or ruler. There's no measuring for today. It's just you need something nice and straight. Uh, rulers are the best way to go. And you're gonna want some colored pencils. All right, so what you do here first is you draw how tall you want the door to be. So I picked this side and I want the door to be this tall. Then. The, t the top of the door needs to line up with the vanishing point, just like the top of the wall needs to line up with the vanishing point. The thing is, I just don't need to draw it all the way. I just need to draw what I need. All right, so I need that much of the door, so it's all lined up with the vanishing point. And then, once you have that, you can draw it straight back down. This door is that simple. Then you can put a door handle, or you can put uh, an empty space. So. Let's talk about a wall that is extremely slanted. This one is extremely slanted. So the way I'm gonna do that is the same thing. I'm gonna still draw how tall I want the door to be. The, ro the top of the door still has to line up with the vanishing point. Yes, I understand, that's very, very slanted. It's supposed to be. Trust me on this. Don't change it to make it flat. All you're gonna do is end up losing points because you did not follow the directions. The top of the door has to line up with the vanishing point. Okay, and then all I need to do then is make it go straight back down. Yes, I understand that slanted, but if you notice the slant matches the slant of the roof. So now the door looks like it actually belongs on that wall. I could put another door here. Actually, that's a little too close. So I'm move it over a little bit. Okay. Now, if you notice, both of these two doors that I had done before went to this vanishing point, the right-hand vanishing point. That is because they're on the right-hand side of the building. This is the left side of the building. This is the left side of the building. So that means I need to use the left vanishing point. I don't, it's basically, you can always tell by which way the building is going. I'm going to use that same vanishing point. Each building needs a door because you've got to be able to get into it. This one's going to this vanishing point, so I'm going to match the roof up the top of the door. that. Okay. Next, what about windows? Windows are actually very, very similar to doors. Uh, it, they're based off of a rectangle, so we're going to do the same thing. So I want to put a window here. 
I draw the side that is closest to the center of the building. And I draw how tall I want it. So I want it to be this tall. That's how tall I want it to be. Then the top, just like a door, lines up with a vanishing point. But this time the bottom also has to line up with the vanishing point. Okay. So the top lines up with the vanishing point. And the bottom lines up with the vanishing point. Notice I'm going the same way the building is going to the vanishing point. And then I can draw the other side. And now I have a window that fits and looks like it belongs on that side of the building. I can do one here. The building's going this way, so I'm gonna match and go to that same vanishing point. Each building needs a door, and each building needs one window. Okay? I don't try to put any windows or doors on the bottom. Uh, that requires using both vanishing points to do those, and I don't want to confuse you any more than I already possibly have. Okay? Uh, so remember, you draw the side that's going to be the tallest, line it up with the vanishing point that matches the side of the building. So if the building's going this way, that means you're using this vanishing point. This side of the building's going this way, so you're using this vanishing point. It just depends on which side you're on. Okay, uh, once you have the windows done, uh, we have some very, sp I have a specific kind of coloring I want you to do for these buildings. The rest of the coloring is gonna be kind of up to you, but uh, for the buildings, I need you to do a kind of a specific way because it enhances and really emphasizes the look of the 3D buildings, okay? Uh, your buildings can be all the same color or they can be different, but you need to choose one color for each building. So like this building would be all versions of blue. This could be all versions of orange. This could be all versions of red, or they could all be brown. It, it doesn't really matter what color you've chosen. Um, I would probably avoid yellow and white. Those are gonna be the problem colors. So let's go with, um, I mentioned brown, so I think I'll use brown. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna do this building here. I need you to choose where the light source is coming from. Do you want the light shining from this side? So that means your sunset should be over here or sun. If your sun is over here, then the light's coming from that side, okay? Um, if your sun is up in the center, then you're gonna have to, if, like if your sun is right there on the dead center, you're gonna have to choose left or right. That's just the way it is. And why does that matter? Well, when we are coloring this, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline. Okay, next. I'm gonna have the light coming from the right-hand side. So that means this side is gonna be the lightest. So I'm gonna color it very lightly with the brown. Then this side would be medium, so I'm gonna color it a little bit darker. There needs to be a clear difference between these two. This is light, this is medium. Okay, that leaves the bottom. The bottom is actually gonna be your super dark, as dark as the color so this is gonna be dark brown. Okay, then I'm gonna repeat this process for my other building and this building here. Uh, the only difference between like this one and this one, this one, this one does not have a top or bottom to deal with. So we don't have to have the super dark, but you will have the light and the medium. So I'm gonna fast forward go over these two, and then I have one last thing, a specific color to go over 
uh, coloring issue to go over and that has to do with the tree trunk itself. Now, uh, we've enhanced our look of the 3D by adding our, our values, our different light, medium, and dark, making sure that they're matched in each of the buildings. The light is on the same side in each building, the medium is on the same side in each building, and the dark is on the same side. It's important so that it looks correct. The last thing I really need to go over uh, for shading purposes to help with the 3D is the actual tree itself. Um, the way that's gonna work is you're gonna need to give this thing a light brown all the way through. So. I'm gonna fast forward and do that. Okay, next, this is where you might wanna have a black handy as well. You're going to need to uh, create kind of a shadow side with your tree trunk. So the light side of the buildings is on the right for me. So that means the light side of the tree should be on the right and then the darker side of the tree should be on the left. So on the left side of each of the branches and the trunk, I'm gonna make it darker. I'm gonna kinda of like fade it in on the big spots of the trunk. I'm gonna kinda of fade into dark and in the really dark spot after I put some more brown down, I would very, very lightly add in just a little bit of extra shadow to the very edge here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the branches. So I'm gonna add in. All right, uh, with all the shading and everything like that, I need us to get this far where we have the windows and doors done lining up with the vanishing point. Um, I also would like you to uh, get the shading done for the buildings and get the shading done for the tree trunk. Um, I understand that this is taking a little longer than I expected. We will have a week four. Week four will be actually very, very simple. Uh, but I want this part done because it is going to take you a little while to make the shading look nice and make sure your windows and doors all line up to the vanishing point. Uh, please make sure you take a photo of this, upload it to Google Classroom, and remember there is another week on this one last week, week four, so don't assume that we're done with this this week. It is one more week on this. All right, I will see you next week.